welcome back uh, to this course on polymer chemistry and we will continue in this lecture our discussion which we are having in the last lecture on polymer in solution, polymers in solution. In last lecture we started the lattice theory of solutions of small molecules and then we introduced the, the uh, thermodynamic probability and Boltzmann equation how to get this combinatorial in entropy from number of distinguishable this degenerate arrangements of a system. And then we started our discussion on Flory Huggins theory on polymer solution and in this case if you can recollect that uh, polymer molecules because their the size was quite different from the solvent molecules each polymer molecules were divided into x segments where each segment was having same size with the size of a solvent. And then with this total segments and the solvent molecules were placed in the 3D lattice like the small molecules. First we introduced the polymer molecules one by one each polymer molecule in case of each polymer molecule segment by segment and then once all the polymers molecules were introduced in the lattice then we added all the solvents. And in that process we calculated how many different ways, how many distinguishable, distinguish, distinguishable ways we can introduce all the polymer segments and then we got uh, the entropy of the mixture from the Boltzmann expression and then we deduce or deducted uh, the entropies of the polymer molecules, pure polymer molecules and the solvent molecules to reach, reach the value for the entropy of mixing for the polymer solvent system or polymer solution. What we got which is seen that we this is the final expression we, uh, we, we, we have received. So, what we will in this lecture what we will do we will get the expression from enthalpy of mixing. So, once we get the enthalpy of mixing we will obviously get the free energy of mixing and once we get the final expression of the Gibbs free energy mixing which we will uh, then we will look at the usefulness of the Flory Huggins theory and then what are the limitations or deficiencies in the Flory Huggins theory and then try to uh, apply this uh, Flory Huggins theory in dilute polymer solutions and, and get the concept of theta temperature. Now, before we start uh, the getting the expression for enthalpy of mixing, just one uh, uh, one point to be uh, just to highlight that this is the expression we received or we deduced for entropy of mixing for a polymer and solvent. Then phi i, which is the volume fraction of the solvent molecule can be obtained from number of moles, number of moles this is the molar volume and this is total volume this is I for the ith component. So, we can write delta S m minus R v phi 1 phi 1 L m. We also know for ideal solution uh, in this polymer solvent we assume that the volume the volume of mixture there is no change in um, the volume for the mixture compared to the origin volume. Now, what we are trying here is trying to find out if uh, if there is two different size of polymers which will have more solubility of for a given solvent or if there are, is not a solvent it is two polymers or two different size molecules then 
how the entropy of mixing varies with the size of the molecules. Now, we can divide the um, each molecules which represented I into the segments and one volume this is reference volume which is the size the of the individual cells in 3 d lattice. Okay. In case of solvent molecules x i is 1. So, v i is the size of the solvent molecules for polymer what we discussed x i is the number of segment polymer segment. So, in this case we are not mentioning solvent time now we are just to make it general we are using this expression. So, we get from this delta S m equals to minus R v v 0 Okay. So, for if if say 1 was solvent obviously, x 1 is your 1. So, you will get back that same expression. Now, what does this expression say is that if the size if the size x 2 the value of x 2 if the value of x 2 goes up or value of x goes up then the size of the molecules is going up. If the size goes up the entropy of mixing comes down. Now, what is the sign of this entropy of mixing of these things? This is a fraction obviously, this is a negative term there is a negative sign here. So, this is a positive term. Okay obviously, mixing as from our general knowledge or general understanding that any mixing generally gives in increase in entropy. So, this entropy of mixing is always positive. Now, if the value of this x 1 or x 2 goes up, the value of entropy mixing goes down, which means that a polymer having larger size it will be which will give less entropy of mixing compared to a polymer having a lower size for a given solvent and given conditions. If you say the same temperature pressure and, and same solvent if you mix a, a polymer having higher size it will give lower entropy of mixing than a polymer which is having a lower size. Okay, this is what does it say. So, solubilizing a larger size polymers are always difficult compared to a lower size polymers at a given conditions. This is what does this. So, now we will move on and try to find out the value of entropy of mixing. Now, entropy sorry enthalpy of mixing. Now, enthalpy of mixing is as you see that uh, unlike one um, the ideal solution where uh, this interaction the solute uh, solvent solvent solute solute and the solute solvent interactions were having same interaction energy in this case they could be different. So, what we are writing this as uh, in, this is interaction energy psi 1 1 epsilon 2 2 and this is epsilon 1 2 and when a polymer new polymer new polymer solvent contact is formed due to uh, polymer getting dissolved in solvent. Obviously, it comes at expensive expense of a solvent solvent contact and a polymer polymer or segment segment contact. So, we can write a expression like a chemical pseudo chemical reaction where half solvent solvent contact half segment segment contacts give one 
polymer solvent contact and we can also write the interaction energy per contact is the interaction energy for polymer solvent minus half of the interaction energy for the solvent solvent plus interaction energy for the segment segment. Now, we know that del V m is 0. So, del H m would be given by Q 1 2. This is the interaction energy per contact and Q is the total number of polymer solvent contacts. Okay. So, if Q is the total number of polymer solvent contacts, then entropy of uh, enthalpy of mixing would be given by Q multiplied by the interaction energy for the each contact. Now, one polymer, one polymer has how many segments? One polymer chain has x segments and each segment is in contact, how many contacts with solvent molecules? If you uh, go back here, each polymer segment, if all of these are say for argument all these uh, neighboring cells as solvent molecules, then it will have z contacts. Okay. One segment will have z polymer contact, next one will have z minus 1 contact, next one also z minus 1 contact. So, except the two ends each segments have z minus 1 contact. So, each segments have z minus 1 contact. Now, what is the chance that each of these vacant cells is a solvent molecules or each of these contacts is giving a polymer solvent contact which is again given by the volume fraction of the solvent molecule okay because its segment size and the size of a solvent molecule is same so this would be given by the volume fraction so the volume fraction of the solvent would be the probability that each segment or each neighborhood has a solvent molecule okay so that is what is the chance that each, each segment would be giving up a polymer solvent contact. Now, this is any, I just, this is not one, each, each segment intermediate actually has z minus 2, one this side, one this side. So, they have z minus 2 contact, each segment at z minus 2 contact with a neighboring cell other than polymer. Say if you consider this segment, it has z minus 2 contacts with other than polymer. Now, what is the chance that the other cells are the solvent molecules? Then you have to multiply it by the solvent mole fraction and you can add 2 extra for the 2 ends which is z uh, being high, I can just write, we can ignore the uh, two ends like this. So, this is each segment has this many polymer solvent contact, each polymer has x segment. So, each polymer has how many contacts? x z minus 2 x. So, each polymer has this many contacts with solvents. So, total number of polymer solvent contacts Q would be 
n 2 is the number of molecules polymer molecules a x z minus 2 phi 1. So, now let us do some maths uh, phi 1 is given by n 1 n 1 plus x n 2 phi 2 is given by x n 2 n 1 plus x n 2 this gives phi 1 x n 2 is n 1 phi 2. Okay. So, I can write this q instead of phi 1 x n 2 phi 1 x n 2 I can write z minus 2 n 1 phi 2. Okay. So, this gives the total number of contacts q. So, what would be del h mixer be q multiplied by 1 2 p. z minus 2 n 1 phi 2 ok. Now, to remove these terms which is uh, which is little abstract is the number of coordination number in the tree lattice we have already defined a term interaction panel Flory Huggins polymer solvent interaction parameter chi was defined as z minus 2 t, t k is the Boltzmann constant, t is the absolute temperature. This chi is a temperature dependent temperature dependent dimension less quantity which just defined like this to remove all the information from the lattice and so we can write del h m is chi n 1 phi 2. into k t. Okay. So, this is the expression for the interviews. We will come back and look at it little more depend on the uh, polymer solvent interaction parameter is basically uh, gives you the difference when a solvent molecules is taken out from a solvent environment and put in a polymer environment. So, that is uh, uh, it gives the interaction energy between the poly polymer and solvent and we name as a poly uh, Floris Huggins polymer solvent interaction parameter. So, that gives our del enthalpy of mixing. Okay. So, um, if we just uh, go back and um, see what we have seen now we know the entropy of mixing of a polymer solution polymer plus solvent is truly now in this case this entropy is truly a combinatorial entropy remember we have only 
calculated this entropy by the number of ways you can arrange the polymer in the tree lattice. So, it is a only configurational con combinatorial entropy, no other entropy is involved in this case. And now we calculated the entropy or enthalpy of mixing as k t this is mentioned here and you can be placed like this also. So, you can write gives me the mixing of polymer solution by this this is given. Now, one thing uh, you must uh, ask uh, uh, or you are wondering that why should you use a, a lattice like this, no, no, no. Is, is this justifiable. Now, in case of uh, a pure uh, liquid or a pure solvent or pure uh, solution or a solution, the molecules are uh, very regular, you know, quite regular. So, that we can use uh, such a um, 3D lattice and as we have seen that uh, or we know that the place of the molecules in the first neighbor in a solution or in a liquid is quite, uh, quite established whereas, the, um, the place of the second neighbor, third neighbor and so on becomes little uncertain. As we have seen that in deriving this uh, expression or Plory uh, Huggins expression, we only uh, were interested in the first neighbor. So, this type of model 3D lattice model is uh, qu quite justifiable. And so, this expression is uh, which we derived using 3D lattice model is uh, uh, should be quite uh, justifiable. Now, this is uh, known as Floria Huggins equation as uh, you might have uh, known by now. So, just rewrite this and break into two terms. This term as we this is again 